Good afternoon. We've got a new addition on our wall. We have a second 12 kilowatt. We used to have a six kilowatt right here, but now we have a second one that's 12 kilowatt. These things are monsters. They weigh 186 pounds, but they can surge up to 36 to 40,000 watts on a surge. And you can start up a lot of stuff. I use them, this one for my three and a half ton and my four ton. And I got a second one because I want to dedicate one just for my 12.7 ton pool heater heat pump. So then I could run the other three and a half ton and four ton air conditioner heat pump off of this. And I can run all that at the same time. So we also have a second one of these of the EG4 3000s that'll be going right there. And we'll be getting rid of the MPP um, inverter and we'll have just grow watt and EG4 inverters on the wall. So um, both the grow watt and the EG4 are so much better than these MPPs. I can go 500 volt input on this, only 250 on that. So, and we'll be able to do split phase when we do that. So we'll be able to use this the second one we put here, to, when we have split phase, we'll run that 230 volt uh, heat pump um, air conditioner to heat and cool our garage. So this I can't, I can run mini splits that are 120 volt, but that's it. Um, so we'll be getting rid of the MPP, putting our second one right here, and we'll have all that we need. 12K, 12K, and then we'll have 6K. So that's 30 kilowatts worth of inverter that we have that we can mess with. And we're doing some different things on the arrays in the backyard. Um, we also are putting a slant on all of our pergolas so that the water will drain off the solar panels. We used them um, on the flat pergola roofs, but we found that the water was puddling and getting into the solar panels. So if we just put a slight angle on that, we can get it to drain off and not go into the solar panel to get behind the glass. So I'm gonna be working on that. And we have some bifacial solar panels that we bought, 400 watt, and then you can get with the reflection on the backside, another 100 watt possible. So that would be 500 watt per solar panel. Right now we've been using the used 250 watt solar panels some of those used ones are starting to already, because of the water intrusion and stuff, they're, trying, they're starting to short out. So, you know, they were only 20 to 40 bucks a piece. So got my lifetime of a couple of years out of a few of them. <laughs> so, but these newer ones, um, we'll be using those. And I'll put links in the description um, below for the um, stuff that, we get and we buy pretty much everything now through Signature Solar and we are an affiliate with them. So we really love their products. Um, their customer service is excellent. In fact, we had to um, return something and it was a piece of cake to be able to return it and then get a credit. And then we just basically reordered a new one. So excellent service at Signature Solar. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you that we've replaced that and we're doing a bunch of different things. Look forward to it and uh, see you in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell and hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.